Hello, chess family. It's me, National Master Jesse James, and today we're taking a look at another instructive chess mentor on Mondays. Now, I really like this game because, well, it's almost a king hunt, and I love these aggressive chess games, especially when you get to sacrifice a queen. It's got a good recipe that hopefully you guys enjoy too. Here we go. We start up with d4, d5, pawn c4, queen's gambit, e6, decline, knight c3, c5, the tarash, c takes, c takes, and this is very interesting right here. The Tarash defense, the Shara Gambit. Well, queen takes on d4, knight c6, attacking the queen. And of course, we cannot take the knight as well. You just dropped your queen right there. So the whole idea behind this is to gambit this. And uh, queen went back to d1, pawn takes on d5, queen takes on d5, and bishop to d7. And this is the gambit right here, uh, Shara's Gambit. Very, very interesting game or a very, very interesting gambit, which I hadn't really seen too much. With that being said, bishop g5 developing with a threat. Knight to f6 attacking the queen. Bishop takes, queen takes. Definitely not a move I would suggest here for white, as this allows black to bring out the queen, and, well, you can pretty much guess which, ways, which way black is going to go ahead and castle. Pawn e3 was played, letting out the bishop, but also covering this d4 square for the knight. Castles queen side. Queen back to b3. Bishop to e6, attacking the queen, and the queen jumps to a4. Now, apparently this was a mistake. Develop with a threat. Black to move. What do you play here? Of course, simple chess. We want to move the bishop next. And, well, bishop to b4 is running. Bishop takes on c3, and then queen takes, winning the rook. All right. Well, white goes ahead and plays a nice move here. Rook to c1, but apparently this allows a beautiful idea. All right, I do encourage you, push pause here, see if you can find a bolt from the blue. All right, black to move. Again, I'm not sure if I find this move. It is so beautiful, a nice force move here. Black to move, what do you play here? All right, hopefully you found it. It was this rogue to D2. Oh my gosh, a bolt from the blue. And here it's simply threatening uh, queen takes F2 for checkmate, or even rook takes B2, making this knight weak, and then we're going to be winning over here. Well, I... Can we take this rook? Is it bad for us? I mean, if we don't take, then I'm pretty sure we're just going to be losing here. Um, again, if you try something like knight f3, developing rook takes on b2, and now c3 is getting very, very weak, yeah, it's just going to go bad here. With that being said, king takes d2 was played, and here comes black. Queen takes f2 check. Knight to e2 here. Bishop to f5, a very nice move. For those who are thinking we should play rook d8 check, you just lost your whole advantage here. As well, white can go king to c2, and after bishop f5 check, you have pawn to e4 here. Oof. I'm sorry about that. This is this is going to allow white to have an escape square. And worst case scenario, maybe the king can just kind of run back and forth to b3 and to c2 here. With that being said, black saw this was the escape square on c2, and wisely chooses to play bishop f5 stopping this idea. The difference being, if e4 now, well, I guess we can just take on e4 still because the knight is now being pinned. Oof. All right. In the game, white went ahead and tried. Queen takes b4, just a desperate measure here. And black does not get shaken. Black plays the best move here. Black to move, what do you play here? Hopefully you saw it. Don't play knight takes b4 here as knight e4 check and knight takes your queen. And, well, you're not going to be too happy in this position. With that being said, hold the line, keep pressing forward, rook d8 check, queen to d4 got played. Here there was no good move for the king to move to. I mean, I guess you could try something like knight to d5, but after rook takes d5 check, king has to run to c3. Oof, checkmate in two here. Queen takes e3, king c4, and then queen to d3 for a nice little kill box checkmate. All right, back to the game. Here white played the only move they could play. Queen to d4, and here we simply just capture. Knight takes, knight b5 check. Of course, if you have played pawn takes on d4, rook takes d4 is just checkmate. Okay, so back to the game. Here, white tried knight b5 check. Knight goes back. Knight to d4, and, well, simple chess here. Black simply goes king to b8. King to d1. Trying, uh, gosh, there's just really no way to get this king out, out of the way here. I mean, yeah, the king went to d1. If you try to go to c3, the e3 pawns will fall in check, and you'll soon, and you soon will be checkmated. So the king went to d1, and just simple chess here. Queen takes on e3, and 
and that's it. Unfortunately for this king, he thought he was safe in the center of the board, but this rook sacrifice just changes the whole game. Well, guys, I hope you like this instructive chess miniature. Remember, guys, get your king castle as soon as possible, and be careful about taking those gambit pawns. Also, check out this opening. It was a pretty cool one. We'll see you in the next one.